You need something? And my youngest one, she's in school. What you need? They get money. They don't need to be watched, and they're not idiots. And I ain't raised them to be fools. You see, when y'all was outside and doing all of that, I was a mom, I was a parent. I don't have little kids. That part over, baby. <laughs> no more babies. Any more questions? Or responses. How was I throwing shade? I'm in a club before y'all and it's a vibe. You're the same sense as you're going to say. I walk in the club and I see it's lit and it's a vibe. And I look over and I see Tommy. Then I'm throwing shade. What's the shade? I ain't noticed you hoes even walked in the door. I'm in my own world. That's not shade. What's up, be mine? Exactly. Return? I ain't never left. <laughs> We're still working. Yeah, she did defend me. And shout out to Biggie. I fuck with her. That was some real shit. For the motherfuckers who, um, you know who understand real life and real life shit. Like, you know, if your friend ain't in the room, either you gonna silence the whole conversation or you gonna speak on their behalf. It's about who, who be real behind your back, more importantly than in your face. Like, it's one thing we all in the room and uh, we have an argument with a bitch together, but it's a whole nother thing. And it mean more, to me, it mean more if I'm not present and the motherfucker is speaking on my behalf. That mean more to me. So, no, we did just meet. But at the same time, that's somebody that I fuck with ongoing. Like, that's somebody I, you know what I'm saying? I like the way you move. It's about a motherfucker being real behind your back. Not the one that come tell you everything that was said and you be like, well, why they were so comfortable saying it to you? Not them kind. The kind that actually tell you what the, how they silenced the conversation and how they had your fucking back. Them kind. She wanted them. Big get real one from what I've seen in just a short matter of time. And I've, I've met all of those girls, and she the realest one in that short matter of time. It don't take a lifetime to catch a vibe with somebody or not. It don't catch up, it don't take a lifetime to do that. You can catch a vibe with a motherfucker in 24. You can catch a vibe with a motherfucker in two hours. How do you start a relationship? A date? Like, it's only by what, 30, 40 minutes? It don't take a lifetime to get to know somebody. And can't nobody speak on how I feel and tell a motherfucker I'm not their friend. In that moment when she called me, she aggravated me. I'm on my sprint of vibing. And she calling me talking about what another bitch said. And she know I hate that. I hate even talking about them. I don't wanna I don't wanna indulge in no conversation about these weird assholes. You know that biggie. So when you call me and you like, they said. Man, get the fuck off my phone with this shit, for real. That was just a vibe. It's aggravating. Who ducking? Yeah, exactly. But that's just a few things I wanted to clear up. And shout out to the mayor of um, San Francisco. Y'all know I be in Filmo on the blog right there by the McDonald's with uh, Mo Better, Mo Cheddar, Leron. I'm not from no Bay, and I never claim nowhere that I'm not really from. And this is another thing I wanted to address. When you say, this my city, and that term right there, this my city. You got to show me something, what you did for your city, who you put on in your city. What difference you made in your city? You was born there. Chill. It's not your city. Like, them motherfuckers don't identify with you like how you motherfucking on here capping the whole world down. Let me see a birth certificate or something. And even if you is from there, what you done for them? Bought a TV show there and pick one motherfucker? You ain't even look out for the bitches in your city. You out there, everybody. We, I'm from up top. I'm from East Coast. So it's Biggie. So it's Kashan. So it's motherfucking... Um, 
What a name. Low from the south and so is razor. We all from the east. None of them is from the west. You couldn't even narrow it down to west coast bitches in your city. So, man, fuck out of here. What y'all did, what difference y'all made. But I know my homeboy, his auntie is the mayor of San Francisco. <laughs> and he is that nigga in his city. And we've been around here. And when I touch down there, it's never no fear. It's never no fear. It's never no tucking my tail about for what. Motherfuckers I've been around for the last couple of weeks. Make it make sense. That don't even make sense to y'all. It can't. Mm -hmm. Big East. But like I gotta start clearing shit up because I can't let it rock out no more. It's looking dumb. It been dumb. And since it's a lot of kids watching, I never really cared to say nothing. I'm like, them kids rock out. You know what I'm saying? They delusional. It was funny, but now it's looking like, man, get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. Uh, because I got a 420 event. I tried to do it. I got a 420 event. I don't want to do it, but I got talked into it. You know, the money was right, but I just got a, this event, and I can't make it. They came with a bigger bag and I couldn't take it off. So, I can't make it, baby. I'm finna put up the flyer right now so y'all can see. So if y'all in Miami, pop out. I also got a new uh, <clears throat> edibles coming out in a strand. Shout out to Bitcoin, Rodney. For putting me down. So Biggie is not your friend. In my book, Biggie cool. I don't use the friend term loosely. But she definitely gang. All my friends is, is 10 plus. We got 10 years plus in. And they like my family. So I don't use that loosely. But she gang for sure. For sure I fuck with her. And don't take that and twist that into.